Labdien visiem! Hello everybody! Today I will uh, teach you one method that will help you to remember the gender of the nouns better. I know that the whole concept of noun having a gender might be a bit unusual for you. Well, of course, depending on how many languages you speak. But at the same time, even if you are really good at Spanish or German, the two languages that do have noun genders, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be able to immediately know what gender any word, a noun, is in Latvian. Just because uh, from language to language, surprisingly, the genders change. Well, for example, uh, how would you define what is the gender of a car or a dog? or a ship or here you may be said but a ship is a she yeah that's true that's because in english we normally say she about a ship and that's traditional and maybe this example will help you a bit the thing is uh, in uh, most european languages uh, every noun has a grammatical gender of course, if a noun defines a person, like for example, all our names are either feminine or masculine, depending on whether it's a female or male that is called that way. For example, you can already see a couple of names here. The sentence is Mani Saut Christine. Here. Mani Saut Christine. Christine, Christine. Of course, is female. Here we have Manu Viru Saut Andris. You see already the both the nouns, both the name Andris and the word husband Virs Manu Viru. They are both blue. Of course, that's because both of them are uh, masculine. Very understandably, Andris is a male name and husband that's a male person so in a way that should help you to understand how uh, those noun genders function but at the same time it kind of makes it even less logical because of course well it's easy to accept that all the female persons are female like for example a teacher is skolota ja Yes, ja, the a, the last uh, letter, actually shows that this word is uh, feminine. And that's of course, is easy to accept. Well, she is a woman, a teacher, a female teacher. And school or dice, who would be the male teacher? Of course, again, it's very easy to accept that this person is masculine. This, this male person and the word school or dice will also be masculine. But what about some other words? Like, for example, look at the sentences that we already know. Man patīk Riga. Please repeat after me. Man patīk Riga. You see, Riga is pink. Yes, she is a girl. Riga is female or feminine. But why? Why should, should the city be uh, feminine? Well, that's a grammatical gender of a noun. In a specific language, for any historical or whatever reason, the, the way the language developed, in this case, the cities, and by the way, you will see that most of the cities in Latvian, in fact, are feminine, even those cities that are foreign, like, for example, New York. In Latvian, we say New York. You can already hear the A at the end, New York. And that already shows that it's a she. New York. It's a she. Okay, the next one is Man Patik Zivot Riga. Repeat Man Patik Zivot Riga. Let's go a bit faster. Man patīk dzīvot Rīgā. And you see again, the word Rīgā 
of course, is feminine. Here, we can see it in this special form, we, I like to leave we in Riga, Riga. The next sentence that we have already learned, man patik mācītes, doesn't have any nouns in it, right? So there is nothing either pink or blue. And this is basically my suggestion. What you should have, you should have at least two markers of at least two colors. Better even, you know, buy a whole set of markers because you will use them for other purposes. But the point is, what we will do from now on, every time we see a noun that is grammatically masculine, we will make it blue. And any noun that is grammatically feminine, we will make it pink. Of course, you don't have to be so cliche. You can choose any other color for your own notes. Uh, this is definitely your choice. But for me, well, even if we go like completely cliche, if it helps learning a language, let it be. Uh, if uh, the think, if the, the thought of uh, all the female nouns being pink kind of makes you smile or think of a beautiful baby girl, perfect. Any emotions that are attached to the learning process, they help. So the next sentence that we already know is manir divi gadi. Yeah, the word gods, year, is male. It's a he. I know, there is no logic in it at all, so we just have to get used to it. And by using the pink and blue colors, we will be just helping our minds to get used to the fact that this is male. That's why it is divi. Because, of course, we can change this, divi. It could be divas, and then it would be two, but of the female words. Yes, I know right now it sounds maybe a bit overwhelming. So the purpose of this lesson is to introduce this pink and blue system to give you some examples. First of all, of the things we already know. Then there will be new sentences. And then from now on we will use it so that our mind can adjust to this whole concept of any noun, no matter how neutral, being either masculine or feminine. So the next sentence, manir piaci gadi, the same story. Gadi is masculine. Manir labi, there are no nouns. The next one is actually quite interesting. I would say even funny. Remember the sentence, kind of weird sentence that we learned. I have an egg. I have an egg. Yes. Man ir uola. Egg is feminine? Exactly. Uola, it's a she. The reason? There is no reason. It's a grammatical gender. So, basically, that's how the language has decided. And that's it. In any other language, it could be of a different gender. In Russian, for example, it's not feminine. In some other languages, it's not. In this case, it is. Just accept it, laugh about it, and remember. Another sentence that we already know is Man ir suoma. I have a bag. Suoma, why a bag is feminine? Well, here you can at least make a story. You know how... Girls, they like different bags. How many bags a man usually has? Have one, maybe two, well, maybe three. Girls, yes, have to have a red bag and a black bag and a blue one, of course, because they need them all, right? So at least you can laugh about it and try to remember. The next one with the nouns is this one. Esmilu manu sievu. That's easy. Sieva is a wife. So, of course, she is a she. Next one. Man patik mans darbs. I like my job. A job is masculine? Well, yes, that's how it is. That's why we color it blue. So that our minds can adjust to this idea that a job is masculine. There are no explanations. It's just the way it is. You might use your imagination and when you learn this word man, patik, mans, darbs, you can try to imagine, let's say you come into work in the morning and everybody working there is male. 
there are no women anymore. What happened? There was a catastrophe yesterday or something like this. Just laugh about it again and try to remember. Darps. That's a he. Okay, let's learn a couple of new sentences here. These are the new sentences for today. My name is Christine. Money South Christine. Christine is a very Latvian name. Of course, you can say Christina or any other way how your name actually sounds or Anna or Beatrice or anything. But if you want to adapt a bit, then for example, Christine will be Christine. Or Beatrice is Beatrice. As well as any other names that are quite common, there usually there is some kind of an equivalent in Latvian. If you want, you can change your name a bit so that for people it's easier to pronounce it. If you want, you can stick to your original name, of course, nobody will say that you're doing anything wrong. So that's absolutely your choice. Uh, then we will say, my husband's name is Andres. Andres is a very Latvian name, of course it reminds you of Andrew, right? This is a Latvian equivalent of the word, of the name Andrew. Here we go. Mano, Viro, South, Andres. Mano, Viro, South, Andres. Here it's extremely easy to understand why both the word husband and the male name Andres, well, they are masculine, that's understandable. But then again, remember, it's a grammatical gender. Sometimes it makes some sense. In most cases, it really doesn't. It's just the way it is. The next one is my son's name is Marek. Mareks, Mareks, that's actually a fairly common Latvian name. Uh, it has origins definitely in some other languages, that, that's for sure. I know a lot of Mareks in Poland, for example, so maybe it's coming from there. But here we, we are learning Manu, Dalu, South, Mareks. My son's name is Mareks. So what about the daughter? My daughter's name is Anna. Manu, Meitu, South, Anna. And now let's learn how to ask, what is your name? Remember that it's a bit tricky. There is no word name in it, right? It's a different structure. Just like we have this whole thing with man patik, man ir. This one again is a bit different from the way we say it in English. Unfortunately, the only way to learn it is just to learn it. Of course, I'm, I'm providing some explanations, but at the same time, it not necessarily helps if we dissect every little word and try to find an equivalent in English. In a lot of cases, we just have to learn that this is the structure that is used. Of course, we can use any tricks, any opportunities to help our mind understand and remember. And we're doing this with, our, with the method of pink and blue or, I don't know, green and yellow. That's your choice. But again, I would rather stick to pink and blue just because it makes me think of... Uh, little boys and little girls and how cute they are in their pink and blue outfits and so on and then it will create this positive image in your mind but again if you want to be gender neutral and so on just stick to this concept of a grammatical gender grammar is grammar this will not be cancelled so let's learn this one ka ka make it long ka devi South. So what you have definitely noticed is that the verb south, 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 south. And also here, it doesn't change. Even though we are speaking about different person. Here I'm saying my name is, and then my husband's name, my son's name, my daughter's name. So he or she. And here we are talking about you. Ka, Devi, South. You know that normally in Latvian the verbs they do change. If I do something and you do something and they do something, believe me, it will be different. Here, why things don't change. Think about the structure of the sentence. 
Mani sauc Kristīne. I am called Christine. Yes, that's how it is. So instead of saying my name is or anything, it basically means I am called. And just think about it. Who calls me? They. So this form, basically it says here, they call me Christine. So they call me Christine. And since this they doesn't change, it will be always the same. It will be always salt in this particular case. Later, when we are talking about things that I do and you do and he does, there will be differences. But here, just think about that. In fact, the sentence structure is like, for example, here, ka tevi salt. It means how do they call you? How do they call you? So that's why this call, it doesn't change, but they're, because they're always they, who call me, who call you, who call my, my son, who call everybody. So that's the whole point. That's why sauts, if you know grammar, then it will be the third person. Either plural or singular. In this case, in Latvian, there is no difference. If you don't really like grammar, forget about these persons and plurals and singular. Just imagine yourself in a situation when... You're standing in a crowd of people and you're saying, they call me Christine, they call my husband Andres, they call my son Marek, they call my daughter. How do they call you? So it's, you know, kind of a logical thing. How everybody calls you, how everybody calls me in this respect. That's what I'm talking about. That's why South always stays the same in those sentences. They call me or everybody calls me. And here, ka tevi saut. How do they call you or how everybody calls you? Okay, let's do it again. Ka tevi saut. Okay, that's enough for today. Buy your markers and uh, yeah, maybe just buy a whole set because we can always use green and, and, uh, and yellow and any other because we can always mark with those other colors. Let's say new words or forms of verbs or anything we will find a way to use them okay see you again Ata.